Ocampo. I'm in San Jose at NVIDIA's launch event for the new 8800 GPUs, a powerful new graphics processor. And um, one, of the, one of the demos they showed to show off this processor was Crisis, the hot upcoming first-person shooter from Crytek and EA. And we have here um, Crytek CEO Shavat Yurley here to talk to us. Hey, Shavat, uh, why don't you go ahead and tell us what you showed off here today? Well, I showed essentially uh, multiplayer level running with uh, the DX9, DX10 uh, mixed version. So it's kind of like the quality bar you will get when you run GeForce 8800 with Crysis. And it's the high settings of Crysis essentially. And we showed the technologies, the difference between Far Cry and, Cry uh, and Crysis ultimately, what it will be. And I was saying in, in a nutshell, it's a Far Cry from Far Cry, at least from technology point of view. It has uh, like aspects like the trees or the water or the faces have more technology in itself and then, for example, entire Far Cry engine. And that's a massive boundary. I mean, we're pushing the detail level about 10 times across Far Cry. And so every aspect of the technology, the, finesse, the final finesse, what we want to push, that's what we showed off here today. Um, even, so we were about looking at DirectX 9 and DirectX 10, so this is even the final DirectX 10 version. So can we expect the DirectX 10 version to look a lot, lot better, or how, what are we looking at here? Well, a lot would be a bit uh, pushing too much, but the point is that what we're going to get is that what we have seen today and better, but how much better still remains to be seen because we're still working on it. We, I mean, we didn't stop pushing forward as we can, as we go. You never know, maybe in two weeks we'll reach a generational leap forward with some new magical technology development because we leave our R&D engineers on free room to experiment. But uh, at the same time, we want to close the project. So there is some time for them to experiment. If they come up with great technology, it will look substantially better. If not, it will just look still better. But then again, hey, DX9, we push DX9 so much more that DX9 looks almost like DX9 of other developers. And I don't want to uh, pin down the other developers. They do a great job. But with DX9, we have been working with DX9 since four years now almost. And so we push it to the limits. And it, sh it already looks next gen by DX9. So DX10 will rock, but DX9 as well. Okay, so what happens if you don't have one of these new hot new uh, GeForce 8800s? Um, you know, if people have slightly older hardware, how's, how's the optimizing going? How's it running on older machines? So we are actually, one of our major focus of our technology group right now is to make the entry barrier technology, the min specs essentially, as uh, low but as well as playable and good looking as possible. Our barrier there is that our min spec version running on a PC three years ago, that's about Far Cry times. Three years almost passed already, can you imagine? Three years ago, that PC would run Far Cry high specs, should run at uh, Crysis as min spec, but Crysis would at least look similar or better. That's our bar. And if we achieve that, then we did our, our, our promises and our, how to say, we did our work that we owe it to community, the gamers, and so we will fulfill our, uh, our owing to them essentially with that. Um, I guess